Good morning, loved ones. This is your sister Sandy Edwards with M. Trois, our medical missionary. Gracious Father in heaven, we love you, Lord. We're so grateful that you touched us this morning and gave us life again. We're so grateful that you loved us so much that you gave your only son to die in our place. Thank you, Father. Oh, Abba, today we give you our lives. We ask that you would please use us in your service. But first, please cleanse us in the righteous, powerful, cleansing blood of Jesus Christ, our only Lord and Savior, your only begotten Son, whom you love. Father, we ask that you would hear our prayers this morning. Many of us are praying for healing. Many of us are praying for direction. Many of us are praying for strength and courage. Father, we need you. We definitely need you. And we want you to make us ready and right so that we could be filled with your Holy Spirit power and be ready to face anything, Lord. And for those of us, Lord, who are alone in this world doing your work, thank you for giving us the strength and courage to stand alone. Help us, Lord, to continue on because you made us, you know us, and you're leading us to the direction you want us to go. And you're helping us, Lord, to reach others for you, for your kingdom. Please, Lord, make us ready. I pray this prayer in the precious name of our Lord and Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm reading from Homeward Bound, and I want to um, read the title. Hold on, I'm getting the title for a second here. The Gospel to the World by Sister White. Okay, let's do it. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. Matthew 24, verse 14. Christ has given signs of his coming. He declares that we may know when he is near, even at the doors. He says of those who see these signs, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. These signs have appeared. Now we know of a surety that the Lord's coming is at hand. Heaven and earth shall pass away, he says, but my word shall not pass away. The exact time of the second coming of the Son of Man is God's mystery. In the prof in the prophecy of Jerusalem's destruction, Christ said, Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. This prophecy will again be fulfilled. The abounding iniquity of the day that day finds its counterpart in the generation. So with the prediction in regard to the preaching of the gospel before the fall of Jerusalem, Paul, writing by the Holy Spirit, declared that the gospel was preached to every creature which is under heaven. Colossians 1 verse 23. So now, before the coming of the Son of Man, the everlasting gospel is to be preached to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. Revelations 14 verse 6 and verse 14. God hath appointed a day in which he will judge the world. Acts 17 verse 31. Christ tells us when that day shall be ushered in. He does not say that all the world will be converted, but that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. By giving the gospel to the world, it is in our power to hasten our Lord's return. We are not only to look for, but to hasten the coming of the day of God. Second Peter 3 verse 12 Had the church of Christ done her appointed work as the Lord ordained, the whole world would before this have had been warned, and the Lord Jesus would have come to our earth in power and great glory. Those who watch for the Lord's coming are not waiting in idle expectancy. With vigilant watching, they combine earnest working, because they know that the door is I'm sorry, because they know that the Lord is at the door. Their zeal is quickened to cooperate with the divine intelligences 
in working for the salvation of souls. The Desire of Ages, page 632 to 634. Beloveds, time and time again you've heard that Jesus is coming soon. You've heard it so much that sometimes you might not want to believe it anymore. But believe you me, it's going to happen. And it's going to happen soon. Jesus can't lie. The Father cannot lie. And when they said the day of judgment is coming, it is coming. Get ready for it. I pray that you're on the Lord's side and not on the enemy's side. Because on the Lord's side, there's victory. Complete victory and complete rest and bliss in His arms forevermore. God bless you all. This is your sister Sandy Edwards with M. Twa, Medical Missionary, saying, We love you guys. We do. In Christ alone. And we want you to be ready to go to heaven because this world will be destroyed. Please get ready. Take care of yourselves now, okay? In Christ alone. Bye for now.